What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Urban Craft YouTube channel. Mi na ito Stomodi, na leo niko super excited kwa sababu gani, tukona the man himself, Bazu 001, all the way from the United States of America. Man, this guy, the CEO himself, is in the house. Lakini staki kubonga sana, let him introduce himself. Yeah, 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 I go by the name E.G. Ferro, a.k.a. Edu Bazu, a.k.a. Edu Bazenga, whatever you want to call me. And my guys over there in diaspora, they already know me over there. But over here in Kenya, man, what are you going to do? I'm going to be the one who's 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 going to be and I feel really proud, man, to link up with my brother right here, Stomi. It's been a minute, man. Two years, right? Yeah, two years. Yeah, man. It's been a long time, Speaking man. Speaking about the, uh -huh. the time, the time, the time frame that you've been away. Uh -huh. First of all, tell us. Uh -huh. Life in America is quite different. Well, life in America. <laughs> that is self-explanatory. Manze, oh. I'm going to come up with a platform where I'm going to do online, where I'm going to coordinate with you, but now, my fans are going to come up with you. We're going to come up with you. So, guys, I'm going to tell you, how did you do this passion for doing this in the first place? How did this thing come about? Because there are people who are watching, and they're going to come up with this thing, and they're going to come up with this thing, and they're going to come up with this thing, and they're going to come up with this thing, and they're going to come up with this thing. How did you come up with this show? So you know how I came up with this show, if you can remember. I think we had that chat yeah, like, back yeah, then, like yeah. it was a while back. Now, yeah. like you know about me doing something because you know you know me, you've yes, known me for a yes, long time. Yes. Now I'm really yeah, like into advising people not to go the wrong way, sure. like when you're in the right way and make sure they do things the right way. Sure. They don't waste time. Yeah. Because you know, time always you buy back. No matter how much money sure. you make, you can buy sure. back time. So you gotta make the best use out of your time that you have. Exactly. So, yeah, when we had that chat, that's when it came up and I was like, you know what, since what we call it, it's like, we're going to talk about it. And I was like, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. So, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Okay. Nini tunaenda ma occasions mimi napenda na kukaa kwa kona. Na nikiwa kwa kona utajua ni kwa area cuz na kwa na so into like you know discussions and everything. So that's why I came up like you know I thought about like so I'm going to start this uh, the show because I'm really interested in helping people and telling them what I think you know they should do in life and advise them because of the things that I've gone through in life. And nikasema wacha ni tatu ba za kona, you know? And that's how we came up and then I started shooting and the rest is history, yeah, man. Yeah, the rest is history, yeah. Now you are in Africa, bro. Kuna vitu liko na miss yani about Africa yani about Kenya ukiwa huko majuu. Nini unaweza kuwa unaweza tuambia? Ndio pia mtu aweze ku relate. Mtu akiwa pale nini anaweza kuwa na miss about this country? Well, kitu ya kwanza ni weather. Okay, the weather. The weather is amazing. Kitu ya pili, obviously una do kitu. Nyama choma budi. Oh, nyama choma. That's Kenyan, that's Kenyan. So, nyama choma, man, alafu, obviously the people. Oh, the people. The atmosphere and also, like, you know, the environment. It's welcome. Kwani, what about the people yet, yenye ni different na ukiwa uko? What, I don't get it. Okay, so the people back over there wana kwanga so much to themselves and, you know, because there's too much going on, watu wana kwanga wakishuku wengine, like, they might get into, get you into trouble, like, you could try kuuliza mseso wali, kuna mtu watazani, unabjaribu kumharas. So, people wana kwanga wamejia, kana iyo, uwoga, mingi, so, they tend to, like, you know, keep to themselves more than the usual, like, on the rest of the world, how people call, sure, 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 sure
cooperate with each other and consist with each other but yeah that's one of the biggest thing like kuna hiyo uoga ya kuongea na watu kuna hiyo social life cause tena kumbuke that's a first world like, mm-hmm. and it's really expensive actually to stay in america like you have to you know if you don't have a really really good job okay. and all okay. that you have to take like two three jobs to make sure you to, to make yeah yeah, yourself, yeah, yeah 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 keeping up with yourself so basically that pia kuka uko nini kuka job sana mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff kuwa busy ku run errands mm-hmm. kuna bills mingi za kulipa all that mm-hmm. kind of stuff it's also busy in, in Kenya but yeah, people yeah. don't talk about it as much as the way people over there okay. you know talk yeah. about it yeah. so that's the thing so uku watu wako more open mm. si kila mtu uko atia na gari watu wengi uku wako mm-hmm. like i'm not saying like people can afford it but most wengi wanapanga very social wana tokeo okay. kuna kuna bills unaweza ndio pate wasi hapo umetulia na mweze kubonga one two three yes, yes. it's not the same thing oh, back over there okay. back over there you have to go like into a club or into a res- uh, pub ndio pate hiyo ndio pate hiyo social yani watu wakiwa pamoja na ni ngumu tena kwa mabishi zako ile ndio muna wa need wako job so itabidi wewe unajipanga 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 exactly yeah 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 yes you're so much into kenyan music yeah <laughs> Abu tuambie hii mambo ya Kenyan music na kupenda muziki ya Kenya ulitoa wapi? Abu tupatie hiyo okay. historia. Okay, uh, ili toka far like hiyo story ya kupenda Kenyan music it started all the way back nikiwa mdogo sana. Mm-hmm. You know, like hizo times za kina uh, gidigidi majimaji. Yes. Uh, Red Sun, Red Sun mm-hmm. eh? kina mm-hmm. Isa. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, na producer wanoma pia kina Ted Joshua. Mm-hmm. Eh? Ni Joshua Ted, ni Josiah. Ted Josiah. Josiah, that's yeah, the name. Yeah. So yeah man, like tumetoka kitambo. Also and... from way back umekuwa kipenda yani back up place umefika ndio maana unakuwa na hiyo passion. Exactly, ndio maana nakuwa na passion ya muziki na entertainment in Kenya cuz we have a lot of potential like mm-hmm. cuz I remember there was a time Kenyan music was there. <laughs> If I want to say it it was a shit you know yeah. tulikuwa ndio we tunaonekana Africa mpaka yeah. channel low tulikuwa East Africa TV exactly. Kenyan music ilikuwa ina shine yes mm-hmm. yes yes we were the shit but right now looking at music i think sai wameanza ku improve improve on a couple of few things like mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. videos and uh, quality of music the content some here some some there mm-hmm. but uh, originality in afa kutoka venye tulianza na muziki watu wanafaa kurudi hapo venye tulianza na muziki hizo enzi za kina Isa za Seri. And if they can be able to do that now where's uh, kuongea na you know the new producers to link up with the old producers because they really had some games like they had some bangers. Mm-hmm. Now wakiza ongea na watu waweze kwa pamoja mm-hmm. waweze ku think of a genre mm-hmm. yenye tunaweza ikuza yenye ilikuwa yetu hiyo ilikuwa inaitwa uh, genre ama kapuka. Uh-huh ikuje ikwe modernize kama vile umeona kwa hiyo imeenda unaona hii hii ama piano mwaita ama piano yes. is a baby of like you know it's the baby of like in a house music yes, yes. house music ya nini ya south africa mm-hmm. 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 you know yes yeah, so and the pia like naija ile nzanga ikiwa yeah. too simple like siwezi jua mna dina mingi venye walikuwa siwezi kumbuka venye walikuwa na ita kitambo mm-hmm. but ile nzanga hivyo wakaenda wakaikuza wakaikuza and they invested in their hardware their mm-hmm. their equipment So me neither see two or some is I like one of our invest in their equipment production wise uskis mm-hmm. uskiski ni ni ngumu ku spend on your craft mm-hmm. cuz your craft to keep perfect mm-hmm. the more is gonna you know give you like there is returns, the results yeah. and the returns and yeah. everything yeah, yeah, so yeah. that's what i think is really lacking in kenya cuz wako na ile fear ya kuogopa like what if ni ki spend your pesa isirudi mm-hmm. umejaribu ikakosa kurudi na okay. unajua everything ni ku learn you learn every time but mm-hmm. the only thing that you can never get back is time as i said it. time and money they are two different things what do you say time is money no 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 mm-hmm. time is of the essence bro mm-hmm. if you lose time mm-hmm. no matter how much money you make mm-hmm. you're never going to buy back the time it's gone umeongelea story ya au ma producers wa hapo before venye walianza ku create ma bangers hapa hivi Kenya na zikaweza kushika East Africa na Africa as a whole exactly Ivi karibuni tumecheki kuna hawa wasanii wana upcoming yani ma new artists wamekuja na hii style inaitwa Ija na inaitwa Abanton whereby mm-hmm. wanatumia hizo ngoma zilikuwa zime hit then ku uh-huh. create nazo trend size na zime, zimefanya vizuri mm-hmm. could that be what you are talking about because of the your originality your sound ya before is that what you are talking about well 
for me Nikki Sema like Nikki were too candid you know I'm mm-hmm. going to be candid as mm-hmm. much as I can yes. but uh, what I can say about them kitunaza talk about them about that for me ni mm-hmm. I think it's a pretty good idea mm-hmm. if they really want to get people like kuwa skiza na kuwa follow and everything because you know they want to try to mingle and say what the past na pia wase wenye wako sai present but mkumbuke pia kuna ile kitu inaitwa originality because yes. you cannot survive for so long doing something doing that was already there it's going to be it's going to be dead yes, yes. we need new creativity yes, yes. but kama kuna wenye wanaweza enda we include that idea yenye wanatumia saa hii ya kitambo na ya saa hii eh wa kuja wa maj those two things together yes. will create something different new, new. yeah because yeah. they got it they got it like they're really talented i'm, I'm not gonna take that away from them they were talented we know vingori mm-hmm. na, na kwa nini na kwa nini basi nikiuliza kuna hapo from the year 2020 tulicheki kulitokezea gengeton gengeton yeah. twice same walikuwa wametumia beats zimetumika before mm-hmm. lakini ilikuja na ikatake over lakini mm-hmm. ilifika at some point watu walianza kupinga i don't know what you can say about that because it was original gengeton was original but maybe kunaweza kuwa na hitches one two hapo hivi yenye ilifanya hiyo john ikakufa what can you say about that okay me for me i can say this like you know, allow me to you know to <laughs> correct you on that okay, one. Okay. Gengeton is not original. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Gengeton is genge combined na reggaeton. Okay. Na itwa gengeton. Okay? Mm-hmm. So ni kitu iko affiliated from other genres when I create another genre sub genre. Sub genre. Yeah. Ya kukuja mm-hmm. ku take over. Mm-hmm. Which is a really good idea, it's not a bad idea. I'm mm-hmm. not trying to say like sitai kukata msee like ni mm-hmm. meaning idea by or anything like that. Mm-hmm. But looking on that situation like genge tone was really really popping like that hiyo ndio ilikuwa ni genre yenye ingekuja ku yield a lot of things yes. and you already know our culture in Kenya is whenever people are starting to do good we start to you know we yeah, shut them down shut them down mm. or bring down like mm. what of the makosa badala what of the kitu inaza uplift yes. inaza upliftiana you know mm-hmm. But this is the thing though this is what I'm going to say man like I wish Kenyans sisi mentality yetu to change to one vitu zetu zikopoa kushinda za wengine za wengine because mkijipenda kwanza <laughs> na mweze kujisupport kwanza na mpenda nyinyi wenyewe kwa yeah. industry yes. pia na pia wa mafans na wasanii wapendane vizuri mm-hmm. tuache kuwa hypocritical mm-hmm. our music is going to go It's very long. far mm-hmm. and the only way it's going to go far is if also this artist like you know they get in the airplay whatever hata kama wana airplay kwa media cuz you know nowadays it's too much going on yes. in this, whatever <laughs> uki wako on your craft do imeanza kuingia acha kufikiria mambo ya kubai ferrari siju kubai nini wishi kama siju you the migo zama endio siju nani no 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 i can say this man if you get your money invest in your hardware invest in your craft the tools that you use to make that music invest in that okay better yourself in the eo kitu ki invest nine now invest in the quality of your videos and audio i promise you there is nothing that you can do na go global na go global mbaya mbaya na marketing kwanza ndio the biggest thing yeah pia hapa kuna shida kubwa sana distribution 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 wasanii wenye wao big big hiyo ni chance kubwa it like there's an open freaking platter like a yeah, whole table that's yeah, open for yeah. you for only one person to come in and take the whole table mm-hmm. and eat you know akuje yeah. chukuyo te bo na ki eat bado na za share hiyo cha kula kwa wasanii wengine wenye hawana true and that table i call it like distribution na it is distribution because distribution is everything bro na kubale na wema boy distribution na marketing na hapa hapa abancraft tumeko tukifanya you already know tunafanya hiyo kazi tunafanya hiyo kazi marketing distribution unakuta msanii yes ako na ngoma kali exactly audio kali video kali lakini hayuko into marketing yeah na mwenyewe anaweza enda hapa aseme ngoma yangu hai make kwa nini aanze exactly. kukomplain na yeye mwenyewe aja market watu hawajasikia hiyo ngoma exactly and that's where i'm going to tell him like come over to abancraft yes We are the only company the yes. only guys you know distribution uh wise Market, and uh, yes. marketing wise yes we're the only guys that are doing that with subs- with a subscription based platform yes 
ukienda places zingine ni contracts za one year maybe it's a one way two way whatever yes. you know yes. there's so many contracts out here it's it's hard to yeah, even name them inaumiza msanii inaumiza msanii mm. but sisi tunakupatia catalog yetu everything una, una choose then you subscribe then you subscribe what you want and kama utaki una unsubscribe yeah. it's so easy and stormy right here can explain way further to kimalizia yeah, video kid, yeah but we have it man we got it we can do it for you guys because that's the only thing that's missing in the industry in the industry distribution and marketing hakuna kitu poa yeah na hiyo mambo ya kusema ati lazima nijue huyu ndivyo niweze kufanya hivi no 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 you don't need to you do it apa any, yeah. we are doing everything like we don't need to know you no know nothing is strict business you got it kila kitu iko sawa bora muziki yako iko good quality na unaonekana uko na talent uko fit yes cuz pia unajua uweze promote kitu yenyewe kitu yenye si kwa yeah kongo ukweli yeah you know lazima iko imefika imefika lazima ukwe umefika bei buda na umefika pia kiwango ile tunaweza kupush exactly. so that's the thing like you know we yeah. got the platform for yeah. you guys it's called urban craft talent marketing and yes. distro so check it out check it out it's going to explain about our party is information so bro mekuwa pale hiv in usa unaweza tuambia what besides us to support kenyan talent na music na nini what else do you do naweza taka pia mtu mwenye ataka get up close and candid na wewe aweze kuelewa so what else do i do yeah uh here in Amer- i mean here in kenya or in up, america up, up. oh here in kenya kenya nafanyanga business wise right or yes business okay. wise So, well, basically what I do is I invest in good ideas, okay? And those good ideas bring business to me. And that's how I'm able to make it. That's smart. That's smart. Hey bro, lakini sasa mimi naweza sema imekuwa amazing, ume come through. Na feel like this is a dream come true. Tumeweza kukaa sasa leo one on one, tuweze kuongea na watu waweze kujua exactly what we have been up to. Yeah. Na I believe this is not the end. It's not the end. <laughs> this is not the end. Tutafanya more and more tutuweze kuwapatia more info. Every day you wake yes. up it's a new beginning. Exactly. So it's never going to be the end. Yes. Until you close your eyes and you're gone that's the end. Hii itakuwa square mesho. Uh-huh. So manze for this episode I just want to say that imekuwa amazing sana na the view hapo hivi nyumbani mmeweza yeah. kumjua hapa mzee Bazu Kona himself 001 Bazu Kona on the platform amekuja hapa hivi so if you are new on this channel kindly do us a favor hit the red subscribe button hapo hivi chini turn on the notification bell share this video na kama kawa we are going to see you in the next episode we are out we out man yes all right